Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. Hi, uh, Paul Drew. From the Studio Rouse. Ah, uh, yes. What have we got here? This is the Great Eastern FX Company XO Variable Crossover. See, I normally do pedal videos by myself, but I thought... <laughs> now, I be thought... honest. Be honest. Well, I thought... Yeah, need someone with a more technical background to explain what's going on with this pedal because you're, or yeah, you work a lot in studios and you understand crossovers and that sort of stuff. So I thought it'd be good to get you in to have a look at have a look at this. I think these sort of things are very, very cool. Yeah. I, I like, there are a couple of kind of crossover-esque pedals mm -hmm. that are a lot of fun. So let's just explain what the XO oh, yeah. is. Yeah. So imagine, if you will, that this is the full range of the audio spectrum from 20 hertz, the very lowest stuff you can hear, to 20 kilohertz, the very highest stuff you can hear. Right. And what we want to do is basically cut that frequency spectrum in half mm -hmm. using, let's call it, a crossover. Okay. Right? Now what we can then do is send the low stuff mm -hmm. to one batch of effects or pedals mm -hmm. and the high stuff to another batch of effects or pedals. So we're splitting the frequencies. Some of the, the high frequencies are going to the one pedal and the high, and low frequencies are going to a different pedal. Now we have a couple of controls on here, which means we can control how these work without having to get down and dirty and repatching and stuff. So the, the, the main big dial on the XO is the crossover frequency, the point at which in the spectrum we are dividing the two chunks. Awesome, shall we demonstrate that? Yes. If I play a chord, do you wanna sweep it? So at the moment we've got the Del Verb on the low end of things yep. with delay and reverb, and the jam pedals retro vibe on the high end of things. Oh yes. So if you play a chord, I, I shall sweep. You can hear how we're moving it's most obvious on the delays and reverbs yeah. because that's generally where you would kind of, that's that's where I think these things sort of things really shine. Yeah, yeah. So putting it back in the middle, yeah. at the moment we've got an equal split of the low stuff is going to the del verb and the high stuff is going to the retro vibe. Yeah. Now, if I press this button here, the send button, oh, yes. I can reverse that. So now this is where I think we really score, where the high stuff is going to the del verb. Yep and the low stuff is going to the retro vibe. That's awesome. Now we've got four other controls. We've got this one here, which is marked as range. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously the crossover frequency we have here is at the moment primarily set up for guitar type ranges, kind of mid stuff. If we hit the range button, we make the range of sweep a lot more bass guitar friendly. Right. So um, think, I tend to think of this as guitars, yeah. basses. Okay. Oh, that's still usable though. Yeah. A lot 
lot more of the vibrato and not so much delver. Right. A massive amount of creativity. I think that's where something like this is really powerful because it's an experimental tool, really. You know, you could have two completely different loops of effects yeah. and you can blend them. So we then have this control here. This is the return balance. Now think of this as a tilt, like a, a balance, if you will, between yeah. the two loops. Right. So we can go more del verb than vibe, more vibe than del verb. Let's, let's hear it. Now the last two controls are pretty straightforward. We've got a dry blend, so the amount of original signal that's passing through yep. versus the two loops. And we've got this one, phase. Now why would you have a phase switch? I don't know, James. Why would you have a phase switch? <laughs> it's like we've rehearsed this. <laughs> um, some effects pedals, particularly digital effects pedals, have an inherent delay. Some might call this a latency. Right. And this phase switch allows us to to counteract that latency. So making sure everything comes back in beautifully in phase. Some pedals also have a phase reverse in them yep. by the very nature of the effect that they are being. So it allows us to counteract that, which okay. is very cool. But the main kind of elements, if you like here, are the crossover frequency and the two types of effects you put in the loops. Shall we try some different pedals in the yeah. loops? Let's do that. Let's do it. So we've now got the focus fuzz and just the delay. The focus fuzz is in, in the high end yep. and the del verb is in the low end. Right. And I've reversed the phase on the del verb because it is a digital pedal. Yep. There's obviously some processing going on and it sounds better phase reverse. Let's, well, let's have a listen to both. Doesn't it just? It does. It's a subtle thing, but it does definitely sound better. That's awesome, that is. It's very cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it can get too complicated. If you had two different reverbs or two different delays, yeah. it, that would sound messy and because... It's a creative tool though, isn't it? It's one of those things that you, you plug things into and then you you don't necessarily go, oh, well I, well, I want the frequency set here. It's just like you fiddle around until you get something that's really cool. And it's a perfect sort of studio recording. Yeah recording tool, isn't it? I suspect the foos didn't go, blah, 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 I've got this great plan for a delayed reverb thing. <laughs> I suspect something like this came out and they went, that's cool, yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's how, that's creativity, isn't it? That's, that's not planning, that's how happy accidents happen. Yeah. Um, I think these things are really, really cool. Um, this is by far the most feature packed yet simple to operate kind of crossover style pedal I've tried. There right. are a couple of others out there. They're pretty rare. Right. Um, but this is by far the easiest to use yeah. and best laid out in my opinion. Um, and you can just dial in and get creative with it. Or if you want to have the effect being less obvious, yeah. you can just dial in we'll do it. a bit Let's more dry. Listen.
<laughs> awesome. So this is the EXO from the Great Eastern Effects Company. Go and check it out. I'm going to leave a link to the, the website, the Great Eastern Effects Company's website. Down there somewhere. In the yeah, in the uh, in the description below. But go and check it out. It is awesome. And if you've got like a whole bunch of pedals and you want to go and try and do some creative tweakerage, craziness, craziness, yeah. Go and check it out, it's awesome. Anyway, really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and to be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul. I'm James. And we'll see you next time.